everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and I like to check out the systems and tools designed for photographers. I test the tech you might be curious about, break it down and share what I find so you don't potentially waste your limited time on tools that aren't a fit for your business. If that sounds helpful, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I'm digging into a new feature Aftershoot has launched called Instant AI Profiles, and it's pretty freaking cool. Essentially, it takes your Lightroom preset, sprinkles in some Aftershoot intelligence, and turns it into something that adapts to different lighting and shooting conditions, rather than a standard preset that just applies the same adjustments on every photo. It's a faster and easier way to build an Aftershoot AI profile, and today, we're checking it out and seeing how it compares to Aftershoot's professional AI profile, as well as the standard Lightroom presets. I'm going to be doing some side-by-side -side profile creation, editing, and reviewing so we can get the full scope of what the instant AI profile is like and how effective it might be for those that are feeling held back by their Lightroom preset, but also aren't quite ready for the more time-intensive professional profile. As we go through and take a look around, there may be something I check out that you want to see more of, and I totally encourage you to take this video and use it to get your bearings in the system. That way you can trial after shoot and know exactly the way you want to move through it. Aftershoot has a pretty generous 30 day free trial, so get in there and have fun. What we need in order to start our judgments are our profiles, and the process for creating the instant AI profile isn't necessarily instant, but it is very fast. We can pick out our Lightroom preset within the Aftershoot interface, which if you don't have a preset graveyard like me, this list method might be faster to scroll through. We can also just drag and drop our Lightroom preset, which is very convenient. The system then asks us to review and make some adjustments in exposure, temperature, and tint to some neutral sample images. This gives our instant preset some understanding of the type of qualities we like in our final edits in order to get it a little more properly tuned to us. The whole instant AI profile creation process took me two minutes, including making those preference selections and finalizing. It probably would have been faster, but I get very into sliders and picking preferences. My professional AI profile, not including image gathering and uploading, took 7 hours and 37 minutes to train, and it used 5,340 images to learn from. That is a difference of 7 hours and 35 minutes between the pro and instant profile. So yeah, the instant AI profile is definitely built for those that have a need for speed. Speediness is only one part of the equation though. The bigger question is how does it actually do when editing? And thanks to a newish update to the Aftershoot system, we can get an early idea of what our photos will look like pre-export by clicking this little before and after toggle. Of course, this isn't a totally accurate way to judge the images, but I do want to highlight it because it is something that makes Aftershoot stand out from the crowd, and I just find it pretty cool. With both profile edits exported and in Lightroom, it's time to see how these profiles interpreted the data I gave them. And truthfully, I went into this test already thinking that the professional profile was going to blow the instant one out of the water. However, I am super impressed with the edits from the instant profile. It required less from me when setting up, but still learned a good amount of what makes my photos mine. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely room for improvement, like with all AI systems. The instant profile tends to come out cooler than I like, with exposures that run a little brighter than I prefer, and while it does a solid job on underexposed images, I'd still end up making temperature and exposure tweaks on about 42% of the images. Knowing that this is how the images turned out, if I were to make this instant profile again, I'd definitely take the preference slider for temperature to the max for warmth. And you know, hopefully the professional profile isn't getting too comfortable because they also aren't flawless. I still need to adjust around 30% of those edits, mostly because it doesn't always do that great with underexposed shots and can be a bit cool. If I could sort of mash these two profiles together, it'd still be too cold, but at least exposure would be sort of spot on. 
Since I can't just combine these two profiles, I will have to course correct them back in the Aftershoot system by adjusting the profile and modifying some sliders, or for the professional profile, improving it by feeding it more and more of my edits. It's a bit of trial and error because we won't know how these modifications impact the profile until we use it again, but putting in the time does make a difference. Just please don't expect 100% accuracy because these systems are built to assist, not replace. And if any of them ever say they can 100% take over for you, be wary. That's why I think the Instant AI Profile is a pretty awesome feature. It gets us editing quicker and our images in a much better space than just our normal Lightroom preset. When I use my standard preset, it kind of sits on top of the image, like a filter that doesn't really care how the photo was shot. But with this Instant Profile, it almost feels like the slider mods are getting absorbed into the photo. Probably a very weird way to describe it, but it's it's the best I got. It adapts to how the image was captured, making more tailored adjustments that get me closer to the look I want. Which means I'm not stuck fully correcting every photo the way I would with a preset. I'm just fine tuning, which does save me a ton of time. So yeah, I know we don't have to choose between these two AI profiles, but let's pretend that with everything we saw today, we were asked to only make either an instant AI profile or a professional AI profile to use forever. Which one would I pick? Well, I'd rather use the one that's quick to set up, gives me a strong profile, and only needs a few tweaks to match what would have otherwise taken me hours to create. In case it isn't clear, I'm talking about the Instant AI profile. I think the appeal of the professional profile is that it's learning directly from the user's images, so it's potentially getting a deeper understanding of the user's style. And also being called professional probably has some sort of pull on how we view it. However, I think a good Lightroom preset and properly tuning the Instant AI profile via the modifications menu can create just as strong of an AI profile in a fraction of the time that it takes the professional profile to train. Of course, we don't have to make a choice. We can have the smartness of both right in the palm of our hands and use them for different shooting scenarios. For example, we can make a professional profile for our color images that we use a lot and an instant profile for black and white photos. There's a lot of opportunities to mix and match for whatever accommodates your workflow. I am not telling you which way is the correct or wrong way. Your way is the right way. I have a little prediction I want to make and chat about that centers around the release of the Instant AI profile, and since it is a prediction, please take this with a grain of salt, but I think Aftershoot is signaling a bigger shift towards speed and accessibility. Right now, the professional profile is strong, but it also requires a lot of setup and a full workday of training. And in my case, with my 50 edited images, it was only 12% better than the Instant AI profile. Profile. My guess is that Aftershoot will keep working to close that gap, making professional profiles train faster, easier to update, and maybe even more automated over time. We might also see instant profiles evolve beyond just presets and sliders. Imagine being able to upload a small set of finished edits or even have it adapt on the fly. Could be neat. Another big impact I think the instant profile might have is lowering the barrier for entry. Photographers who felt overwhelmed by training a professional profile or might just have never bothered might actually try this. And once they're in the system with the instant AI profile, it creates a natural path toward building something more advanced. So not only does this feature save time, it could also expand Aftershoot's reach to a much wider group of users. But I am of course curious about your opinions on the instant AI profile release from Aftershoot. Let me know your thoughts or we can just gossip in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in to this look at the latest update from Aftershoot. If there's any tools or systems you'd like for me to check out, please feel free to drop me a comment. And also, if you liked this video, I hope you'll consider liking, subscribing, and clicking that bell to be alerted whenever I release a new video. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.